right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, sis, you too, this is Pastor Dow. I got a communication to me and and um and, and they want to know from me, Pastor Dow, what is the difference between a citizen and a tribe? Okay, so here we go. Hey, let me try to hit this while I guess I'm out on the road. What better time to me to do a video than when I'm on the road? All right. What is the difference between a citizen and a tribe? Well, first of all, you have to understand that people who are citizens, they think totally different than a person who is part of a tribe. Listen to me very closely, okay? And I'll try my best to give you the limited amount of information that I have as far as my education on this subject, okay? And hopefully that'll help everybody understand. Um, in the Bible, it's obvious that the whole entire book is about a history of the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, we understand that. We know that those of us who are part of those tribes or, or descendants of those tribes, all right? Now, let's get this right. Um, a citizen was a creation uh, by the state of Rome, um, 500 years uh, BC, 500 years after the death of Christ. All right, um, they may have had some type of form of citizenship. Um, hold on, let me get this right. Let me get my thoughts right. Not 500 years after the death of Christ, 500 years before the death of Christ. Um, that's when a citizen came in and citizenship came in. It came in mostly under the um, uh, westernized, um, industrialized nations, uh, i.e. the Europeans. Um, and, of course, a, a citizen is part of a nation. All right, listen to me. A citizen is part of a nation. And a, a citizen thinks in terms of um, I'm free, um, I have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I'm going to mind my own business. I'm going to do what I want to try to advance my interests um, and the interests of those who I care about, i.e. just a small family union, and that's it. Um, that is how the citizen mind frame and mindset thinks, i.e. capitalism. All right. But a person that is part of a tribe um, they think different because then you, you have a tribe and then you have a person that is called a tribe's man, okay? Think totally different. The tribe's man pretty much truly don't care much about his own self-interest like a citizen does. A tribesman cares about the tribe, cares about the function of the tribe. And he puts the tribe before himself. A citizen puts himself before the nation. But a tribesman puts the best interest of the tribe before himself. And so you have two different patterns of thoughts, two different thoughts patterns right there. And when you look at America, it's obvious that citizens are selfish. Uh, and that's how they operate. And because this is the way uh, that they have been conditioned to actually function and think in the world that we live in. And that's why American citizens are a selfish group of people. Um, they don't care nothing about the nation. Um, and now they will go join the army of the nation, you know, send out their youth to go do that. But make no mistake about it, the majority of the people that actually joins the military, it, they actually get, um, you know, coerced into going in there because of some type of educational ploy or something like that. Um, it's not because they really truly care about the best interests of the nation. The tribesman, that's what his whole life is for, is for the betterment of the tribe. Uh, the tribesman cares about the group, the function of the group, uh, kind of like today, uh, that we call community. Um, if you live on a community like, like I do, um, you do not put your own self-interest and your own self-worth, uh, your own self-ambitions and your own self-dreams before the community. And neither does a tribesman. A tribesman does not think in, in the mindset of self. 
um, like we have, we do here in America. So anyway, I think you get the point. I think you get the ideal of the difference between a citizen and a tribe. And I submit to you that the tribe is the oldest form, now I'm going to use a word, I'm trying to throw you off here, okay, of civilization that there is. A tribesman mostly comes from an Eastern thought, an Eastern perspective. Um, I hope I've done at least my, uh, or at least, let me just say, I hope I've at least made my personal contribution um, to society today to bring about a greater understanding between what is the difference between a citizen and a tribe. That's the reason why I personally think that you'd be better off if you think along the terms and you get with a group where you can be mutually assistants and develop uh, a strong tribalism, a strong cohesiveness to where you can get back to actually function like the people in the book. Because, you know, Western civilization or America here, these Christians, they, they don't even have a thought or even a function of a tribe in their heart or their mind. And anytime somebody goes against uh, the way you've been, you know, trained and conditioned to think, um, you automatically think that it's a personal evil uh, because people don't think like you do. That's the reason why we receive so much opposition because I've been functioning as a citizen in the United States of America and I understand their mindset very, very well, but it's hard for them to understand my mindset because they have not set themselves apart to get out of themselves to look into what I understand, comprehend and believe when reading the scriptures and, and why we think the way we think. So there you go. In a nutshell, the difference between a citizen and a tribe. And a citizen uh, is someone is part of a nation and, and their self-interest is about life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness for themselves and themselves alone and those that appertain to them. A tribesman uh, is, is a, a part of a tribe and he puts the self or the best interest of the tribe before himself. Have a good day. I think what we have um, a, a problem with trying to understand the difference, uh, and mind you, I'm just brainstorming now, of the difference between somebody who functions after a, a citizen mindset as opposed to a tribal mindset, is, is that um, when you look at it throughout all the history of man, uh, and let's just say we have 5,000 years, 6,000 years of history. The majority of all that history has been shaped and function and fashion after a tribal mindset, mindset. And anytime that tribal mindset or mindset, excuse me, were opposed, um, that's because other people who had citizenship or civilizations in mind um, thought that they could just actually come and raid and train and change uh, the people of the tribal mi mindset. And that's the problem of today. Because the people who have a tribal mentality operate after a higher honor of lifestyle. Um, for instance, I can just give you from my own personal opinion and perspective. I esteem the laws um, and statutes and the commandments of the Most High Yah, what that book says, above the laws of nations or citizenship or citizens in this country. Uh, I believe that, that the laws and the commandments, which is a system, um, it's a system of code. It's a coded system. Um, it's far above the laws of, man, of men. And because I think like that, you people out there that have actually uh, taken offense against my thoughts and the way that I think, which I really... Uh, I mean, I understand citizenship. I was shaped out the citizenship just like all of you were. But I really think the problem, um, more than anything, is, is 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 the refusal of transform a mind, which the Bible, it doesn't make any suggestions about it. It commands it. And when you have people functioning after two different paradigms, two different thought patterns and stuff, there's going to be disagreements. That's, that's the reason why, you know, citizens out here call us cult. Because we do not function after that mindset. Um, you know, you, you think about it. Uh, my brothers and sisters on the community, which is in the, you know, the tribe of Yehuda from Straightway. Um, we have a closer knit bond um, than, than you and your natural family do out here in this world. Uh, we're there for each other in sickness, health, death. Um, we're there. We're literally there. Um, and, and the tribe is, is um, it functions, it's a man's world, a patriarchal rule. 
uh, the woman is designed to be um, our help me. And the Bible says, and the man, he shall rule over you. We function up that. When you look at the United States of America and you look at this system, the system is matriarchal. Uh, and that's why the whole system caters to mama, caters to women. Uh, you know, you look at these romantic TV shows that everything is all about bowing down and giving the woman what she wants. If if the if the if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Well, no, I don't function like that. I ain't never function like that. If the man ain't happy, then then ain't nobody happy. And see the difference. That's the difference in mindset. Um, because a, a tribal mindset it puts forth the function of a patriarchal rule or the man's world. Um, the the nation or the citizen is matriarchal it's feminine in nature and the woman rules and that's the reason why we have a lot of people having a hard time um accepting biblical terms now I, it makes no difference to me whether you refute you accept them or not you're going to deal with the most high because when it's all said and done we all going to be judged based on how we function in our roles and how we were created and not what civilization we fell of our mother matrix wound and into and that's what people don't get and the reason why they don't get it because when it's all said and done a, a person that is a citizen if anything challenges the way that the functions of the nation operates then they get offended uh and when they get offended they're going to support the matriarchal rule or the rule of the nation um because they're a citizen of their nation but when you are in exile to the most high y'all like i am you're a stranger and pilgrim of a foreign land you're just passing through and you exalt the honor of the scriptures the code of the scripture above man-made laws there's always going to be conflict with those who have a worldly mindset nation mindset citizenship mindset and those of us of a tribal mindset uh because i i totally 100 percent believe in patriarchal rule to the depths of my soul uh, hope I am educating you at all in some kind of way. Have a good day.